this moment, we're gonna, we're gonna give it back to Debbie for a question coming in from the internet. Jesse, Jose Gonzalez wants to know what the brand of the lenses are. Jose Gonzalez, thank you for watching the show. Thank you for tuning in. The question is, what is the brand of the lenses? The lenses I have on these cameras right here are Zeiss Super Speeds. They're T1.3s, they're available in our rental department, they're totally awesome. But I, I, I imagine what you're really asking is what are the three prime lenses that come with Sony's PMW F3 package uh, for that just under 20 grand price? The answer is, I don't know. And why don't I know? Uh, well, Sony won't tell us. Uh, just yet. I'm sure the information will be revealed eventually, but at the moment, we don't know who uh, is OEMing Sony's PL mount lenses for them. But uh, I mean, you know, it's cool. We, we trust them. They're, they're really good lenses. All right. Uh, a follow up question coming in from Debbie What is the highest resolution you can get from the um, F3 if you're recording externally? All right. Excellent question. Glad you brought it up. Not sure who you are, but thank you for watching. What is the maximum? external resolution. So you'll remember, both of these cameras are 420 color space. 35 megabits per second, 24 megabits per second. However, importantly, they both have HD-SDI output. Now on the Panasonic AF100, you've only got single link HD-SDI output. So you can get, you know, 1.5 gigahertz, 422 color space, full resolution 1920 by 1080 um, images. All right? So that's your highest resolution. It used to not get much better than that, right? However, our friends that have been shooting on other cameras, you know, named after colors, or, or perhaps they've been shooting on the SRW cameras and Alexas, they want a little bit more of their output. Um, so on the Sony side, more than just this single link, single link HDSDI, on the back of the camera, Jose, can you, uh, can you zoom in here for me? What we have are uh, two BNC outputs. You'll notice they're A and B. That's for dual link HDSDI output. Now, you can put out 2K through your HDSDI output and record to an external device such as the CineDeck. However, you could even put out 4K, all right? This camera is designed to compete with certain other cameras named after colors that have a 444 4K resolution. Now, at the moment, this camera itself is not ready for that. But come April, there's something like a $3,000 upgrade that will allow you to come out 444 so that you can come directly into one of Sony's SRW tape recorders that can handle 440 megabits per second 444 4K color space. Is that right? Maybe, maybe not so much on the 4K side, but the 444 color space. And additionally, Sony's coming out with a solid state recording device. They're calling it the SR memory, SR memory something, something like this. That's going to be solid state, hard. Uh, it's like an S by S card, but a lot more data and a lot higher throughput, which will allow you to take the dual link HD SDI output and record at extremely high data rates. Um, we're going to go back to Debbie here for another question coming in for the internet. Jose also wants to know if the camera ever gets hot at any time. Jose, thank you for asking. This camera is so hot, you would not believe it. Um, no, the answer, uh, in, in all honesty, no, the, if the camera does not get hot. Check this out, Jose. Right here, brother. Uh, Jose also is one of my camera operators. I'm not. So we've got some vent ventilation right here. Um, air is always coming in and out through this camera. There are no fans. So it's not making any noise, but it is also not heating up. Now, we're in Miami, all right? My friends who are watching from New York, my friends who are watching from London and Moscow, please accept my apologies. It's about 72 degrees outside, and it's gorgeous, and the sun is setting, and it's beautiful in Miami. And uh, you know, if your camera's going to overheat anywhere, it's going to overheat here. I happen to have done a couple of uh, productions recently, which you may see in future episodes of the Dot Video Show with Jesse Miller, shooting both on the F3 and on the AF100 outside in the blistering heat of Miami. And um, we haven't had to throw away any cameras yet. Um, not, not so for some of their competing color-based cameras. <laughs> Hopefully that will uh, answer your question. But we've got a follow-up coming in from the internet. From Mark Bolding, he wants to know, I'm not really sure how to say this, but what he's saying, but is the Panasonic 8-bit to Sony's 10-bit output via HDSDI? Mark Bolding, thank you for watching the show. And how important is that? Thank you for presenting your question. Um, the question of importance as to 8-bit versus 10-bit, uh, it's, really, it's really on preference. You know, um, you've got to ask yourself, what is my audience watching this on? What is my audience watching this on? My audience happens to be watching on iPhones. 8-bit versus 10-bit, not really going to hurt. However, if you're going to um, blow it up in a theater, you definitely want the extra bit depth. You definitely want the extra bit depth in the recording of your camera. So those, my, those are my friends that are not familiar with um, what we're calling quantization, or 8-bit versus 10-bit bit depth. The, um, 
digital video is, is obviously described in ones and zeros. Um, what they call a word, okay, a, a word in the, in the nature of recording cameras is made up of a certain number of bits, and a bit is either a one or a zero. So there's some, there's some binary numbers going on. I don't want to get too deep into it, but if you've got a, a, a word that is eight bits long, okay, the amount of data in the smallest building block of your, of your camera's footage is uh, a value of two to the eighth power. If you've got a 10-bit bit depth, the, the value, the, the size of your smallest word is two to the 10th power. So it's actually, what is it, four times larger. Every word is four times larger. You're getting that much more data. For comparison, Sony's PMW, uh, excuse, excuse me, the 1500, the HDC 1500, that's a 14-bit camera. So you're getting tons of information sent out through that triax pipe. I, I, maybe that cleared it up, maybe it muddied it up. Um, doing, doing my best here for you guys.